Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we are in the middle of trying to gain favor with the ver the two factions, I guess, not the various factions, but the two factions, the Iconoclast and uh, MSI. Okay. No, jeez, there's always more than one. Don't mess with us. Aha, I don't care. <laughs> Ready to install system update. But yes, so we have we have some we have some goodies we can use on them right now to help. Uh, if you were in charge, would you keep the board around? Of course, even with all their faults, oh. they have the best chance to maintain order in the colony. I suppose I can appreciate the structure of things, long as the folks at the top have got the right heads on their shoulders. <laughs> Just slowly backing away from that monster that was back there. That's the problem, right? If the people at the top <laughs> who are often promoted beyond their capabilities um, don't have a good head on their shoulders. That's the problem you run into. Anyway, we do, I think, I can't recall off the top, the top of my head uh, what exactly. I think we have some dirt on both of them right now. And I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I shouldn't have uh, stopped playing in the middle of like an espionage thing. But, um, hopefully since I've read stuff, it'll pop up in my options. But we're also going to try to, um, play it nice. And we have this one, this, the bolt thing for MSI, and then we'll go talk to the Iconoclast guy, I think, by, by plan right now, depending on what happens with MSI, <clears throat> is that we'll go talk to the Iconoclast guy and get a quest problem. <coughs> I don't know why. <coughs> I throat is dry I don't know <coughs> excuse me but um yeah we'll go talk to him the iconoclast guy and see if we can help him out with anything and play it nice be like hey let's all just work together you guys remember take every other day side thing that was our plan hi <laughs> well I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend hi <laughs> Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> anyway, what can I do for Celia's you? Celia's the one that uh, I remember. She, I think it was Celia that was, um, the board had, like, evaluated her as, like, good for promotion. Whereas Sanjar, they did not. Because of certain, like, he just, like, I think he, like, doesn't look at the bigger picture or something. And he has, like, the weird jokes and stuff. Uh, so we can't do that right now. I found your review. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Okay. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What exactly <laughs> did I give him? Yeah. Made it sound like you're sending me after a weapon. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous Ooh, documentation. Is that what it is? And the dissemination of the proper ideals <laughs> and information to those in the highest echelon. You're a dick! Well. On the contrary, I would say good documentation is for everyone. He's such an elitist. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. I... It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. I... I didn't realize... <laughs> I knew he was obsessed with this kind of thing, but, uh... The pen really is mightier. <laughs> uh, what, what does it do? Yeah, I want to know what it does exactly. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the oh, board. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess a paperweight? <laughs> See, that doesn't even make sense. This is an electronic <laughs> form. We don't need paperweights. Dang it. Hardly the point, sir. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, just tell me what you're planning. I gotta, uh, I gotta, I gotta wait on that, I think. Just tell me what you're planning. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating well, on yeah. Monarch. Illegally and of in course. secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What does that mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh. Found a data cartridge with details of UDL's secret experiment. I did. And I remember that, I think. Uh, sure, why not? Let's just throw it in there. Already? <laughs> if only the rest of the colony operated as efficiently as you. Imagine what a different state we'd be in, hmm? I'll complete the Bolt 52 in no time. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? What are the reformations? What? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. What are these reformations you're talking about? <laughs> I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. Sounds orderly. That's a good start. Indeed. Everything starts with good documentation. The workings of the universe take time to prevail. But sometimes you can reach the intended destination faster if you apply a little Okay, bit. all right. Never fear. I plan on wording our forms very strongly. I word strongly. them strongly. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Uh... I don't know. I, I, I partly don't want, like, the board stuff to get involved with this planet. And I don't know if I'm go if I'm overstepping now and I'm gonna like lose the iconoclast stuff, but oh, and I don't know how much good one man can do to reform, you know, a very corrupt entity. But it's it's a star, maybe maybe it's a little too optimistic. But sure, here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcast for oh. us. Oh! One down, one to oh. go. Oh! Believe me, you've got your work cut out for you. I didn't even... Was there anything else? I didn't else? even bring up the broadcast stuff. Bye. I, I, I didn't even bring it up at all. I was trying to be stealthy. Apparently, it didn't, it, it didn't come off very well. Uh, let's see. Two-handed Malay. Mm. Here, what, what do we... Oh, it's just not gonna unlock anything. Um. Always, always. And then... Inspirational stuff. And... Heck. Oh dang. I've reached 50 for both of these now. Or for yeah. Damage of plasma and shock weapons and increases the damage for science weapons. Heal and engineering. Science. I'm such a leaderly, technical, two-handed weapons <laughs> persuasive person. <laughs> nope. Perks. Let's see. There's so many. I'm not. I'm not a ranged person. Ooh, 50% science weapon. Stacks with weird- did I pick up weird science? I did. 
could really get into that. There's something about blood on violence that helps you focus. That's not disturbing at all. <laughs> Ooh, nice. That's not bad. Further increase my carrying capacity. Sure. It's not as fun, but I'm a, I'm a terrible, I'm terrible with inventory. I don't like managing it. I will all, ooh, that's cool. That one would be cool. I will always pick inventory upgrades because I don't want to be bothered. Radio, okay, yeah. I found a way to end, I didn't even have to bribe, I didn't have to do anything, I didn't have to, I just, Potentially gave them information I shouldn't have, but it's not like they're trying to do a bad thing But I also now I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be able to do with the iconic class uh, Out of amber heights. Oh, it'll probably take me there. All right. Let's see how this goes. I Kind of do I want to bring I don't want to bring the vicar anymore. You're getting on my nerves. Um, How do I switch out? Can I switch out people? Without... Maybe I'll go... Where's my ship? Unreliable! Go. I brought these two out for a while. I still have Neoka. Who else do I want to bring, though? I'll either bring out the thief boy or the medical woman. I haven't even seen them in so long I can't remember their names off the top of my head. I feel like I feel like the medical lady and Nyoko will have some funny dialogue. I don't I don't they don't get a ton of dialogue out here. But um I feel like I don't know. I feel like they're either gonna get, gonna get along really well or they're gonna be like constantly uh, not like at each other's throats, but like little things where they're just like, hmm. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? It's probably Parvati. How's it going? Felix keeps asking me to watch some adventure serial with him. It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. You got that on mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. Um, have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Got to get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know. Of course, that don't stop Felix. Oh, oh, is he giving you problems? Well, I uh, do. I have to beat him. Do I have to beat Felix? I will. I'll chuck him out. If he's, like, trying to hit on you. Maybe it'll help once I, uh... Help her actually get on a date with this lady. Naoka, welcome. Welcome to the ship. Hey, Cap. You getting along with the crew? Well, yesterday, Ellie. Ellie and I almost got to fighting. She turned to Mike Green when I cooked up a bit of wrap for dinner. I told her she ought to toughen See, up. She almost this is me. what I think might happen. I like her. Reminds me of Rebecca. She's got a kind of spirit to her. The kind true freedom hasn't beaten down yet. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. I th I figure there might be some sort of m mutual uh, respect sort of a thing between the two, where it's like, that's what I was kind of saying like earlier, is like, I mean, they might take like shots across the bow at each other, but like, I figure nothing would be like too terribly serious. I'm not pushy, talk when you're ready. I will. Once we get your stuff figured out, Felix, I will beat you. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Uh, hypothetical. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the aether. What's going through your head? Uh, that's cute, Felix. What's her name? Shock and disbelief. Uh, 
seeing as how most of my friends are still on Earth. <laughs> right, forgot about that. Though shock and disbelief is a good way to put it. Guy by the name of Clyde. I knew Harlow. it was a boy. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. He says he wants to talk to me. He says it's personal urgent. quests. Um, let's go. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. I do have to go to Scylla uh, anyway. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill Error. Error. Okay, but good work. Bye. Thank you. Customer, this area is utterly filthy. Uh, then uh, get to work. <laughs> I'm stuck. Why do I have cows? Hey, how's it going? Something on your mind? She is so beautiful. Um, more about you? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on mm -hmm. the promenade. No complaints here. Maybe I should take her out some more. All right. I like the cap on her. How are you? Just sitting here staring at the wall? Yes, you caught me ruminating. Oh boy. Guilty I did. <laughs> What's occupying your thoughts? Um Uh what's your thoughts on the philosophists? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. I'll think about it and get back to you. Alright, that's uh, good to know. Ooh, nice. He's got real books in there. Index of banned literature. Various qualifying considerations, principal rules of restrictive management, morals and maxims of banning unethical literature, proof of the grand architect and predestination, a refutation of the titles listed here within, consequences of the mind and the will of man which led astray, official list of banned titles, prerequisites for advancing the investigation, outing and penalizing of offenders. You have a bunch of uh, books that are that are banned. He's interesting, right? That he's a... Uh, uh, yeah, these have been out of print. Like, he's obviously very dedicated to, like, his religion. It's really cool that he's actually reading the book. Um, to his, like, belief system, right? And he's managed to make it fit his way of seeing the world, in some cases. With, like, the whole, like, he's actually kind of a thug <laughs> thing. But, uh... Ah, it's so cool! Reminds me of Mass Effect and Drama, but in a good way. Where you get, like, a really nice view out the viewports of, the, like, the top of your ship. And then also at the front. Uh, but... Okay, I want to bring Ellie... Wait, I want to bring Ellie and Yoko. I wish I could see what they were, like, their bonuses were. I should bring Felix out. Okay, I'll bring Felix out on Cilia. Because he's got a quest. Did I say it? Was it Cilia? Was it? I can't. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, sweet! My Amazon... So I had two Amazon packages, but we've got... This is, like, totally asinine, but, like, um... I had two Amazon packages I ordered. And... They tried to deliver them yesterday, but we have construction at the end of the street, and they were like, we can't get through, and, like, I got an email saying they couldn't deliver it, so I just I had to, like, go into, like, the very, very bottom of the form and find a place where I could actually write, like, a message on how to get in, and I'm like, no, really, you can get in, it's how we get in and out all the time, you know, like, it looks blocked, but they have left us space to get in and out of our neighborhood, I know it's, it's stunning, but it's true. <laughs> so, they finally, apparently they finally delivered it. Got the email for it. Options. Uh, unequip. Unequip it. Take it off. Yeah. Okay. 
She's got... Look at how big that gun is in her hands. It's, that's really attractive. <laughs> it looks really, really bad, eh? Oh, uh, we got a poison sword. Is this a two-handed weapon? It is one-handed, but it is less damage. Okay. That's good. Oh, wait. She's got perks. Ranged weapon. Base armor rating. Yes. Okay. Ellie, she looks like a bad A. Alright, let's try to get... Oh, and I got what did, I got like an armor thing for uh, for what I just did. Can I? Whoops! Nope. Uh. Wow! Why does everything suck? Also, does Ellie want better armor? No. Uh. Twenty. I could give her. Where'd it go? Oh, she wears light armor. I don't think I have anything that she could wear. Oh yeah, the beanie. Like, I hate to take them out of their clothes, because they look really cool, you know? Like, I like, I like the way they, they look in them. Will you guys chat if I sometimes they whoa whoop Get down cat <laughs> My bad I was like I thought there were stairs and then I was like <laughs> the free falling through the air was so gentle I was like ah and then I was like oh, <laughs> oh no uh, it a whole series of things went rap, but I floated so gently. I shipped with a merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, leapt with it. Not like that. <laughs> Sounds like he had himself a discerning palate. Where are you going with this? He couldn't hit the broadside of an assault cruiser, hence the tin shredder. Wouldn't be the first man I met bearing compensation for his lack Aww, of skill. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a sassy squad. Let's see how far, how far away we have to go. We we'll try to fast travel as close as possible. I've done a lot of running around this planet, I've seen a lot of things, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good on that front. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get... Oh, right. Well. Really? You guys are right there? Amber... I guess that is Amber Heights, huh? Hang on, let me see. I think they'll talk if I walk out the bridge. Reminds me of the crew cabin on one of my first what? ships. What? You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years. What? The, the planet? <laughs> also, why are there people now? Before it was just monsters. Down we go. No, please. Okay. It's actually closer than I thought it would be, honestly, Amber Heights. I thought it was going to be more to the east, like way out there. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that that data cartridge I got, that that guy, like, nearly lost it at. <laughs> that sound jar nearly lost it. Um, I'm pretty sure I got that from the place I got my science weapon. Like, that's why I think they were doing, they were doing illegal experiments that resulted in the science weapon, which I totally still have. And, uh, and I picked up, I, I think, I remember it was there or somewhere else, so I remember picking up a cartridge. I knew it was going to be behind a gate, though. I knew it was going to be one of those gated communities. Oh, alright, well, at least I can go in, I guess. I don't know if I've actually been inside. 
I may have just walked up, like, gotten it as, like, a fast travel point and then ran off while I was doing other things. These freaking loading screens are so long. Oh, my gosh. I know, doggy. I know. It's crazy. He's like, no, I just want you to play with me. Huh. Hello, person who's here to greet people. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a picture. Are you a robot? In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclasts. Oh, dang way. it. He wrote it himself. Dang you know? it, I should have brought the pastor with me. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, Gosh it. blast it. You are uh, offering me a pamphlet you don't have? I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we Freedom. do? Freedom! Yeah! <laughs> this is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Well, there's still problems. Yeah. I mean, like, that's the thing, right? Is freedom ain't free, you know? Like, it's, like, kind of a cliche phrase, but, like, it also takes a lot, like, it takes a lot to get it, and it takes a lot to keep it, and there's still problems, like, you know, you gotta work through. Oh, those are just They're hurdles. hurdles. We deal with them as Not they problems. Come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn no, your keep. thanks. Uh, one big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like arguing? them. Arguing? Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I am truth. tempted to go back and pick up the I'm vicar. glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider I'm really staying. tempted to pick up the vicar. I bet you you'd have so many snarky things to say. Tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones a doctor, doctor, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. Uh, good. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for How you. How nice. Why are you here, not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. Uh -huh. uh, I'm looking for a Tucker, apparently. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Mm, that's good. That's great. I'm, I'm sure I'll be really stoked to find that. Um, anyway, this is actually pretty gnarly setup. It looks more, definitely a bit more, like, lived in. Or, I guess, a little more edge, frontiers-ish. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal Ah. Folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a Okay, that's good. I really hope I haven't screwed things over already. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to have to go here now. I can hear my dog making noises out there that he probably shouldn't be making. But thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next one.